Are you recording? Right, so, so welcome back. Um, right, in this video, I thought I'd show you uh, a little trick. Uh, not everyone has got hundreds and hundreds of pounds or dollars or um, whatever currency you use to buy expensive pen kits. So I thought I'd show you how to turn a 10 pence uh, pen, big pen, but it's got to have the bit at the end look. Why is that wet? Oh. Anyway, they work out about uh, 10 for a pound, so 10 pence each, BIC. And I've made a few just to show you in the, uh, the intro to the video. So there's one, very simple. There's another one, again, very simple. This one uh, I stained with um, paint and then let it dry and then rubbed it off to give it like a, an antique kind of finish. This one I think is a uh, Kingwood, maybe. Very thin, but it works. And then uh, there was this one, just a, uh, a scrap piece of wood that I'd burnt some lines around. But anyway, the whole object of this object, the, the whole point of me doing this is I put an Instagram post on and I said, look, I've made these pens. If anyone wants to see how I make them, um, let me know and people did so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple pen you do need a lathe or oh, do you need a lathe you don't necessarily need a lathe but what you do need is a drill I suppose yeah you could you could see what you have to do I'm not gonna do that one because that's wet So, because my drill is only that long, I have to cut them there, and you've got that. I mean, you are wasting a little bit of ink, but to be fair, they're 10 pence each. That's all they are. So I cut them that long, because that's where it goes. Anyway, so the, the, the thing is, with the, uh, the big pens, you've got this little lip here. Uh, a normal pen. I haven't got one. Anyway, the normal cheap pens, you don't have this uh, this piece here. You have just the end and it can fall out and it's, it's it doesn't work, really. You have to glue them in as well so you lose your nice bit of uh, wood that you spent time on. Um, so you have to cut them and you need this. Anyway, so you could drill a piece of wood, um, attach it to the drill and maybe on your uh, belt sander, you know, turn it down that way, it'll still work. I might even do one of those to show you. But anyway, um, we're gonna do it on the lathe. Right, I'll uh, crack on. Should we do a shout out? Who should we do a shout out? Who needs a shout out? <coughs> So we'll give a shout out to Axe, um, Tom Axe, he's not been very well lately, so big shout out to you Tom, hope you get better soon. Um, who else, who else should we do? Oh, I don't know if anyone's going to the Yandel show soon, I am. And we'll give a shout out to AHB Spoke, Andy. One more. Wayne the Woodturner, there you go. Big shout out to you guys. I'll leave links to your channels in the description below. Right, let's crack on.
Right, so we've got, I'm using the Jacob's truck. Um, let me just show you. So you will need, for Bic this is, I'd imagine they are uh, quite standard wherever you are in the world. So you will need a 3.9, I think that's supposed to be a 4 mil. Um, yeah, I'd say 4 mil. Just off look. That's the size drill you'll need. Turn it off, thank you. So I'm using a Jacob's chuck. Um, let's put it in properly, shall we? Right, okay, next step is we are going to stick this. I don't know what it is, you know, I'm not sure. I think it might be... Uh, might be Kingwood, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna stick this in the chuck. I will try and find a better way of doing this because I do lose a little bit of the um, the end of the, the piece of timber. Okay. Right. So <coughs> just lock him off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this into there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out as much as I possibly can now. have a look. I am definitely going to turn my extraction on for this stuff because it stinks. Look what happens when you stick your finger in the chuck. Is it focusing? Don't stick your finger in the chuck, guys. It hurts. Anyway, let's carry on sanding this sucker. Smells like lemons. I could just smell it all day. Mm. Although, I think it's the tube that is impregnated with lemon smell. Oh, yeah, beautiful. I'm gonna have lemony smelly pens. Right, okie dokie. Time for some Axe abrasive sanding paste. Ready to come off? 
all right then, let's do another one. I parted it off a bit too, uh, a bit too small, and I gripped it a bit too hard, but there you go. I'm sure I can sand that off and uh, make it work. I stole but I can use. Axe, polish restore. <coughs> so, oh, I think this is what needs to go in the fridge. why I destroy all my t-shirts because I use my t-shirt as a rag there you go right so there is the basic outer bit of the pen right so there's the bic yes we do lose a little bit but you know what they're 10 pence each they're nothing really are they uh, and there you go push that in there and we have a little wooden kingwood or whatever it is pen There you go. Perfect. Should we do another one? Look at this. Um, so, head over and check out the wife's channel later. Um, Cheryl Bennett, I'll leave a link to her channel below. She is a maker, but she does a lot of stuff with her rats. But she's starting to do things like this. So she's gonna do a uh, a sped up version of reconditioning my lovely logo that she made originally but she wants to just tidy it all up a bit because I've just sent it down for her to 900, uh, 600 grit uh, and she's just going to rework it she said it. Uh, I sprayed it with some dodgy spray right let's try this Chacte Coke This is the first one that I've done with the uh, super glue and it turned out quite nice. Oh, yes, I like it. There you go, does the job. I'm going to stop recording, but I'm going to make another one now because oops, I might take them around to my neighbor and give them to them. His and hers. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Well, there you go, as easy as that. That's how you turn a big pen into a beautiful wooden pen. <laughs> I mean, the pen was 10 pence. Uh, the bits of wood, you could use anything. You could use ply, you could use pallet wood, you could use anything. Um, 
not that I'm disrespecting pallet wood, I've made many things out of pallet wood. Some of it is just beautiful wood. Anyway, <clears throat> so you don't really need a lathe. You do need a four mil drill so that you can, uh, oops, yeah, you can put a hole through. You could put your hole through and then you could literally whittle this out with a knife. Um, you could spin it up against a, uh, a belt sander, anything. I mean, you could even just get a twig, drill a hole in a twig and whack that in. I've done it for the kids. They've actually, my kids have taken them to school and stuff. <laughs> and it all got in company. Anyway, right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share it out. Um, like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And please head over and check out the guys that I've mentioned. I think it was uh, Tom from Axe Pastes. Who else was it? Uh... Oh, yeah. Wayne the Woodturner. Who else was it? Oh, yeah. AH Bespoke. And also uh, Cheryl Bennett. Right. See you guys next time.